for Perry's Lazy Late Show with guest appearances from Sarah, Nelly, and Ted Ted. Now it's time to meet the host of our show, the one, the only, he's Perry the Sloth. show. I know that things are really kind of stressful right now, so it makes me feel very special that you would join me to watch a night of me talking with my friends. We're going to start the way we start all of our shows, by looking at the weather. So, let's go. Okay, as you can see, the world is having a little bit of a sad storm right now. Things are looking a little bit anxious, and there's a front of troublesome thoughts. It's very important that everyone try to be outside in the bright sunny weather, and move your body, and try to talk to some people who love you and who you love too. Okay, that's the weather. Bye. My first guest tonight is my best friend in the whole world. Her name is Sarah. I love her very much. We met many years ago. She wanted to see a sloth at the zoo, but I came to live at her house instead. Would everyone please give a big round of applause to my best friend, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. It's so good to see you. Thank you. You too. It's great to be here. I have heard that you've written some wonderful things in your life. Well, thank you. Recently, I read something of yours that talked about some positive parts of what we're all going through right now. I think we could all use with some positive thinking. So, will you share with everyone here what you think can be seen as a good thing right now? Yeah, I would be glad to, absolutely. Just to preface, it's not to say that there aren't very serious things going on and that I would in any way minimize those, of course. Um, there are a great many sources of very legitimate um, anxieties and stresses. Um, but in terms of some of the more positive personal experiences I've had in the past few weeks, I've really enjoyed cooking a lot at home and also seeing that as something that a lot of the people I know have been doing a lot more of. And without the um, kind of ready ability to go to the store and to buy new things on a regular basis, I've really encountered a lot of people saying that they're, they're making the most of what they already have, they're being very resourceful, and they're kind of taking precious care of the things that are already at home so that they can make the most of what they've got. I think that's really wonderful. I think so too. People are doing a great job right now of really keeping themselves prepared and healthy. They are, yeah. Speaking of which, you have a very special talent that not many people know about. You are great at giving gifts. Oh, thank you. I saw a gift that you gave your boyfriend, Justin, for Christmas. Mm. It's a bunch of cards with really encouraging things on them. 
Let me grab some real fast. Let's see, where are they? Hmm. Hmm. Will you read some of these for oh, us? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Oh, you selected really great ones. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, the first one says, Worrying does not empty tomorrow of its troubles. It empties today of its strength. That's true. Yeah, worry's really hard. And the worst part about it is when you're emptied of your strength, you don't always have the strength to notice that. I agree, and that kind of increases the worry, which creates kind of a, a cyclical relationship there. I like that word. You're really smart. <laughs> Thank you. So are you, Perry. The second one says, We cannot change people. We can only love them. Hopefully, our love inspires them to do better. Not for us, but for themselves. I think that's one of my favorite sentiments. You really picked a good one with that one. Well, thank you. I feel like it's not something that we're often taught, and I think it's a good, good lesson and a good concept to really internalize. And lastly, we're here for the experience of being human, or sloth. Thank you. But being human, period. That means no moment of your life has ever been wasted, and you cannot get this wrong. I think that's perfect. It's true. So many people think, I must be doing it wrong, I'm so rotten, but you're not rotten. You're just you, and that's perfect. It's great to be you. Absolutely. And just seeing all experiences as being valid ones, I think is an important way of understanding how to move through the world. I couldn't agree more. Oh, did you hear that sound? I did, yes. What was that? That's time to go see my dog, Homer. Oh, how exciting! Yeah. Okay. Thank you for coming, Sarah. It was lovely to see you. You too. Take care. Let's go see Homer, everyone. Hi, Homer. It's time to practice some of our tricks. So first one is sit. Good boy. Good boy. Our second trick is kisses. Oh, Homer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, good boy. Our final trick is lay down. Good job, Homer. Okay, back with the show. I'm here with Nelly Dog Smith the star of the new experimental movie, Hoond Hoond. Nelly, are you excited about your new movie? Yes, I'm pretty excited. What's got you so excited this time? Hmm, Vasi Stas was one of my big lines during the movie, and I learned a whole new language for that. What language is this movie in? It's in German. It only has like three lines. Fascinating. Very nouveau art. Nelly, I can see you're very tired. Is it difficult being an actress over 80 years old in Hollywood? Oh, yes. 
I'm so difficult. I'm so tired. I can only imagine. Thank you for your time, Nellie. Thanks for having me. Good night. Good night. Let's go to a clip. Hund, Hund, Hund. Was ist das? Hund, Hund. Was ist das? Hund, 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 Hund. Hund, 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 Some of my favorite animals are birds. Birds are amazing and they're really easy to see when you're inside all the time. I was reading how to get really into bird watching while you're stuck at home. Which is perfect because I'm at home all the time. I saw lots of birds from my window. And maybe you will too. I saw this one. I've seen this one a lot. And that one too. And I've seen this one. And these two. What birds have you seen? Today is Ted Ted. Welcome, Ted Ted, to Perry's Lazy Late Show. Thank you. I know that you've known Sarah for a long time. That's right. Tell me about how the two of you met. I met her when she was born. She was just a tiny, tiny baby. Wow, that's amazing. You've known her her whole life. I have. What was Sarah like when she was little? Oh, she was very sweet. She really just loved everything that was alive and everything that she could imagine being alive. I think that's exactly the way she is today. I agree. Ted Ted is an actress who is here today to talk about her new movie, The Old Gang. Yes. Ted Ted, what's the movie about? The movie is one that I made with Ruggles and Henrietta Hippo, and we track the story of a group that's trying to find a new home. But the theme really is it's just important to stay together. I think that's a wonderful message. Mm -hmm. I believe we have a clip with us here today. Let's take a look. Looking movie. Thank you. I was very excited to see where they were going. Oh, good. You'll have to find out. Now, I understand that you are actually very close with the cast. That's true. Ruggles and I met shortly after Sarah was born, and we got married, and we had children together. Some are dogs, some are cats, and we love them all. That's great. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad you could come and talk with us today, Ted Ted. Me too. It was lovely meeting you. Thank you. Same to you. 
Up next, we're going to read some letters from people like you. Thank you everyone who sent in letters. Let's read a few and respond. The first one reads, Dear Perry, I feel like I am stuck in a sadness and frustration cycle. We've all been there. I get really down and that can cause frustration in my interactions with the people I'm close to, which makes me even sadder. How do I break the pattern? Oh wow, that's a really tough problem. I think that it's really important to just remain patient with yourself. That's going to be the way that you can best open communication with those around you. And it's also important to stay patient to accept that you are who you are, and you feel what you feel, that's important too. The next one reads, Dear Perry, I saw something tasty, and I know I haven't eaten in forever, but my people aren't feeding me right now. I'm hungry, and I want the tasty thing. Love, Nellie. Ugh. Well, Nellie, you know that it's not really forever. It can feel like forever, but every moment passes. It's important to just take it one step at a time. Our last letter says, Dear Perry, I can't seem to shake the feeling that I'm not good enough and I'm not making the kind of progress I want to. How can I try to feel differently? Well, that reminds me of something I read in my favorite book. This book has lots of really great answers in it. Let's take a look what it has to say about your problem. Hang and enjoy the moment. When you're aiming for success, remember to enjoy the journey. Appreciate those small victories just as a sloth would appreciate the view of the forest canopy or a luscious crisp leaf on which to nibble. It's important to stop and give yourself some credit for the things you have achieved so far. If you're struggling, enlist a friend or family member to remind you of your accomplishments. Wow, I think we've had a wonderful time today. We got to see so many friends and their wonderful creations. I hope you'll join me again next time for Perry's Lazy Late Night Show. I love you. Good night. <laughs>